everybody, my name is Roxy and this is Wreck Me BS. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about this amazing book called Metaphysic of Tubes by Avelyn Nottom. I know, it's not really called like that. In English, it's called The Character of Rain. I mean, it makes sense because the main character likes water. Not really. In, in French, it's called Metaphysics of Tubes. In Spanish, it's called Metaphysics of Tubes, like the translation. Why in English it can be called like that? Maybe it, it, it doesn't sound good to native English speakers? I don't know. You tell me. Well, this book by Amelie Nottom is just a little masterpiece in like a hundred and something pages. You read it in a day, in a sitting, actually, but it's still amazing. So let me introduce this. It's about a baby who is born and doesn't cry, doesn't laugh, doesn't watch anything. It's just like a lump. So the family said, okay, it, it's okay, it's not a human, it's a tube. But we love it anyway. In its state, this baby declares itself God. And God is in nothingness. And that nothingness is a good thing. This book is narrated from the baby's point of view. Beginning from the point where the baby is a lump. And then after, she, because it's a she, tries chocolate and she knows pleasure, true life pleasure. And so she becomes human. And, and that's like the main idea and that's a very Japanese thing, that you don't become human until you know pleasure. And then until she's three or something years old, where her dad tells her tells her she's they are going to move. This novel is set in Japan and it's very self-referencing, you know, it's not necessarily autobiographical because I don't think it's true what happens here But it is like self-referencing a lot and a lot of people hate that because apparently she does that a lot But I want to know because it's the first book I've read by her so I don't I don't mind and also because people say it's sort of like a cheap philosophy book I don't think that at all. I don't agree with that. I, I actually I strongly disagree with that This is a book by an Occidental person who was raised in Japan. So yeah, it has a very mixed sensibility, you know? It, it has some very Japanese sensibility, but when you have read Japanese novels, you know, they wouldn't r write this, but a fully Occidental person wouldn't write this either. She's, you know, her parents are Bel Belgium, and she now lives in France, and this book was written in French. Yeah, I mean, it's very mix and match and it just, it has so many great passages and the philosophy behind it, it's not really a life philosophy, it's like more of like sensibilities of life inside a book. So it's, it's more like, more than strong hardcore philosophy, like what you study, it's something that you feel, something that you experience through your body. And the writing here is perfect. The perspective is so weird because it's from a baby. It's a baby, guys, a baby from zero to three years old. I mean, come on, how can you not love this? If you want to check this out, please read it. It's so fun because also, you know, the main character, she considers herself a god. Even after she discovers pleasure, she still believes she's a god. And so she feels like everyone is there to serve her. And when someone, a particular character, dislikes her, she calls that character the anti-me, like the anti-Christ. I mean, come on! How can you not love this? Of course I gave this 5 out of 5. It's just, it's a great book. I think everyone should read it, really. And yeah, that's it. It's a recommendation, not really a review. But I think I reviewed it also. So good, I and mean, it has so many quotes and things that you just have to reread over and over. And ah, uh, please read this. I'm just, I'm sorry. I, I'm usually not that expressive. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm happy today, or maybe it's because I love this book so much. But yeah, this is what I'm doing now. So that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment. Do you like this book? Have you read it? Do you plan on reading it? Please subscribe if you'd like to. Check out my Spanish channel if you want. Remember the hashtag a book a day thingy. I'm going to leave the link down below to my Instagram so you can check that out. Also my Facebook page, I mean the channel's Facebook page is down below and all the social media stuff. And that is it. Uh, see you next time. Um, and so up. 
and so it, apparently she does that a lot I, and also because they think it has like some sort of ship shit even when after she believes uh, I told you what it was about the, you know the episodes it's it's very short it's it, you read it but I look at it I have all these posted I don't know if you can see them I hope you can but I, I marked it all the way because it's so so good and it has so many quotes and things that you just have to reread over and over and ah uh, please read this Uh, also, um, what else, what else, what else? 